Hey y'all, I'm back with another maintenance tip of the month. Today we're gonna to talk about GFIs. A lot of people wonder what these outlets behind the stove, the bathrooms actually do. They're actually where water is and stuff like that can get in sockets. These are actually prevent anything from electrical or anything. So a lot of people say the outlets don't work on the back end, not knowing that a GFI actually controls them. I'm gonna show you exactly if you know the indicator if the GFI is actually tripped or it's actually on. And so actually this one right here is actually tripped. So I'll let you know that right now. And then this one right here is not tripped. So that's an indicator of a green light that shows you that it has power. So we go back over to here. This one doesn't have power. So a lot of people are like, how do we do it? There's actually a test and a reset button. So we do that and we pop it and it comes back on. So a lot of people want to know those are in your bathrooms too. So a lot of women use curling irons and stuff like that, and it does set it off sometimes. So all you gotta do is unplug it, but make sure you're unplugging this before you reset the GFI. So today, that's what it's about, and we're gonna get onto these breakers. I'll show you that in a second. All right, I'm back. I came to show you the breaker box. So a lot in our apartments, our breaker box are located in the hallways or the main bedroom behind the door. So like this, when we come closer, I'll give you a look. So an indicator with the breakers are usually tripped. These right here are all good, but when they trip, they're actually all the way back and you'll see a red mark. But this right here tells you exactly where it is. So the ones we were looking at were kitchen, bathroom has GFIs. So usually you check those breakers if you're not getting any power. But if you are and everything is working correctly, let us know and we can come help you, all right? 